Hi, everybody. My name is Matt Haynes. I'm an audiobook narrator, and I'm dedicated to acquainting myself with different accents and voices on a monthly basis. This month's accent is the Edinburgh accent, uh, Scottish. And I'm focusing on the uh, upper-class RP British-influenced uh, Edinburgh accent, but in order to do that effectively, I'm also focusing on the more standard Edinburgh accent, or the average Edinburgh accent, as far as I can tell. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down uh, the different uh, principles of the accent, as I understand it, and then apply those to song lyrics. Ta-da! This is the Mattoon. This is a picture of me with my glasses on, and it's meant to illustrate what I see going on in my mouth when, or what I feel going on in my mouth, when I'm doing uh, this accent. So what we have here is a very narrow and up passageway. Uh, cheeks tense, tongue up, and things going straight, straight, straight. Uh, so I think the main influences for this, for me, are the e to e phenomenon uh, with Scottish accents, and then also the uh sound being left alone. Now this surprised me, uh, because usually I think that the uh is going to be an oo, uh, similar to uh, typical Irish accents. Nope, it's just the uh. So if I was to say, it's just odd, um, I'm giving myself plenty of room in my mouth to say it, which goes way up, just, uh, which is, uh, or if I was to say it just, then it'd be really, really down and forward. And then odd is way open in the back of the mouth. But on the other hand, we have this, it's just odd. So, eh, back, uh, forward, all, forward, just odd. All right, basic principle number one, the it to e. Um, so slip would be slep. Principle number two, the uh is left alone, so it wouldn't be come what me. It'd be come what me. The T is more forward, the uh, tip of the tongue going to the teeth. So uh, Tuesday would be Tuesday. Next, we have the trilled R. So lose our way would become lose our we. Same uh, pair, set of words. Um, lose, u becomes more of an e u, so almost an e sound if you're trying to do an e but forced to say an u. Lose, lose, lose are we. Still taking from the uh, lose our way uh, set of words, um, a sound becomes e. Lose are we. The s sound becomes closer to an a sound, so sell will become sale. The ow sound uh, goes into something even closer to an i sound. Again, this is where um, I give my mouth much less room to maneuver, so ow um, becomes i. Um, so bow, bye. The i sound, uh, in general American, it's a, e, i. Um, the typical Irish would be o, e, oi. Um, in Scottish, what I'm hearing is an oi, oi. So, isle becomes oil. The ah sound shoots forward into an o sound. So, walk becomes walk. The a ah sound turns into an ah sound. So, as becomes as. There's what we call the glottal stop, the shortening. Um, so, uh, which is what replaces a t. So, just a hit, hiccup. Um, instead of a T at the end of a word. So I'll wait would become oil wait. ING becomes abbreviated to IN. So walking would be walken. Okay, so let's go over some of the uh, principles rapid fire of uh, the upper class or RP influenced Scottish accent, Edinburgh accent, I should say. Um, so uh, first of all, let's keep the T at the end of the word. So what would be what? Um, lose the abbreviation of ing, in, so that would be walking would become walking. Um, also, narrowing things down even more, more, and of course, we lose some of the trilled r. So when I control an r, it means usually there's plenty of room in my mouth for my tongue to maneuver. R, r, r. In this case, I'm raising my muscles, my tongue, my tongue is a muscle, I'm raising uh, my tongue up to touch the teeth in the middle, so it becomes much more difficult, it becomes an ar, ar, ar. Otherwise, uh, keep uh, all the principles, but never let any of the principles overtake you as you are uh, keeping that fairly tight-cheeked upper narrow position and remembering to stay as articulate and clean and full as possible when you're when you're saying things. 
Okay, everybody, it is song time. We're going to actually have split roles in this song, uh, partially for my own tracking of uh, the average accent versus the uh, RP-influenced accent. So we're going to have a dual narration, as it were, uh, to the lyrics of Bruce Springsteen's Should I Fall Behind. We said we'd walk together. Come with me. Back come the twilight. Shall we lose our way? And if as we're walking a hand should slip free, I'll wait for you, shall I fall behind, wait for me. We swore we'd travel side by side, we'd help each other stay in stride, but each lover steps full so differently, and I'll wait for you, should I fall behind, wait for me. Now each of us dreams of love lasting and true, but you and I know what this world can do, so let's make our steps clear, that the other may see, and I'll wait for you, should I fall behind, wait for me. Now there's a beautiful river in the valley ahead. There, neath the oak's bow, soon we will be wed. Should we lose each other in the shadow of the evening tree? I'll wait for you. Should I fall behind, wait for me. And that was Should I Fall Behind from Bruce Springsteen. Music by Kevin MacLeod, uh, who gives us stuff royalty-free, charge-free. It's just wonderful. Thank you so much, Kevin. So, was this video accurate? Somewhat. Uh, so let's have this be just part of the learning. Uh, let's have this video be the start. You folks who are familiar with Edinburgh, from Edinburgh, um, put your comments below specifying uh, different things that uh, can be improved or uh, further developed with this accent as we're presenting it. And I will see you all next time.